This Jesus, the son of Joseph, whose father and mother we knew. How is it then that he said, I came down from heaven? Murmur not among yourselves. No man can come to me, except the Father which hath sent me draw him. And I will raise him up at the last day. It is written in the law of the prophets, and they shall all be taught of God. You got a question? Okay, okay, I'm giving the message. I can't talk right now. I can't talk right now. I mean, I'm giving the message. But you're a deacon. Oh, you're in wickedness. Okay, so have you come to sort out the Lord God? Okay. So you want to you want to turn to Christ? I'm tired. I'm tired. I tried my way so many times. It's not working for me, brother. It's not working. I tried my ass. Why? Why am I like this? Why? See this right here? It says, when we trust God, we don't have to strive for ourselves. Your whole life, you've been striving for yourself. Look, 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 look at the rest it says. It says, we don't have to run all about trying to protect our guard ourselves. We have the best protector. The best protector is in Christ. <laughs> best protector the lifeline everything is in Jesus Christ this is the information are you uh, have you been baptized before you fell away you got Facebook I could talk to you on there and stuff you heard the message you heard the warning you want to give your life back to Christ Uh huh. Oh, she's in the car. Okay. Somebody in the car with her. Somebody in the car with her. Okay. We heard. I heard you. I had to stop because that's God. He's saying stop running. Amen. I run. I'm 37. Fighting, doing all this stupid stuff, man. Tired, drinking, smoking. I'm tired. Literally, I'm tired of going to work and coming home and then feeling empty. Yes, that's an empty void. That's inside. Empty. People always ask me, yo, they be saying it jokingly, but I know it's the truth because God said, I got more for you. This, I, I'm going to push him here. I won't let him. Amen. Come over here. Come over here. You want you want to rededicate your life to Christ? Yes. Get on your knees. Come on. Let's get on our knees. Let's get on our knees and pray. Hold your hand, hold your hand out to the sky. And say, Lord Jesus. Lord Father. I ask you to come into my, Jesus, your, my life. Come into my life. I ask you to rededicate, I ask you to rededicate your power and authority, power and authority, to, me, authority to me, Lord. Father, give, me give me strength today to do your today will. To do your I surrender everything to you. I surrender my life to you. In the name of the Jesus, name of Jesus, I pray, Jesus, Lord I pray Jesus. Right now in the name I ask Jesus. you to come into my spirit. I ask you to come into my spirit. And I repent of and all repent my sins. Of all my I repent of all the wickedness I, I have given myself into. myself into. I rebuke every, I spirit, rebuke every spirit that may be trying to hinder me. I commit myself to Christ today. Today, I surrender my all to you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' name, I pray. In Jesus' name, in front of everybody, Father God, please. Repeat these words after me. I'm going to give you some words to say, okay? Give me a moment. Say, Lord Jesus, I repent of my sins, both past and present. I now stand before your throne of grace asking for forgiveness. I now stand before your throne asking for for all my sins. For all my sins. What is your name? William. What is your name again? William. William. 
I, William. I, William. With my own heart, mind, and soul. With my own heart, mind, and soul. Declare that Jesus Christ is the sustainer of all life. Declare that Jesus Christ is the sustainer of all life. My heart is now tender to your leading. My heart is now tender to your leading. I, William, now exchange my temptations for the truth of God. I, William, now exchange my temptations for the truth of God. Taking my bad thoughts captive. Taking my bad thoughts captive. And confessing them immediately before the throne of grace. Immediately in front of the throne of grace. I say all of this with a contrite heart. In I Jesus' say all name, this I in pray. A contrite heart. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Now you risen up in the spirit. May the Lord always be with you. It's okay, man. God's gonna be with you. You say this in truth and spirit. He loves you. Have you taken the vaccine? Very good. Don't take it. Don't, don't ever take it. You trust in God in all things. I'm so happy that you know the truth. I'm so happy, man. You've been calling me. I heard. I'm at the light. I told my wife, I said, hold on. I hear He said, Jesus, God always calls me at the weirdest moment. He always said that I got something much better. But his better for me is not better for me. Well, not better for my flesh. Exactly. say that. Because his better for me is always better for my spirit. For my flesh, I tell my wife, she knows I've been fighting. You know the thing is? The thing is, you were fighting without God. You were trying to do it yourself. You were trying to do everything yourself. And now God says, all I want you to do is surrender. Surrender everything. Whatever you're going through, whatever you're going through, you put it in God's hands. Get Samuel! My son? Yeah. They want to do a border. What? They want to do a border. They want border? A border. him. Him. Bo- oh! I said, God, I prayed. I said, Lord, if you let this child live, I'll dedicate him to you. Okay. Yes. Now listen to me. I said, I'll dedicate him to you. Uh-huh. I might not live the right way, but I'll dedicate him to you. Now look, she's pregnant. Eight months time. What's the name? What's the name? I said, God, I'm Yokis, by the way. I'm Yokis. Yokis? Yes. William. <laughs> then boom. Right before she went into labor, God said, Samuel. I said, what? Samuel? Wow. I said, okay, Lord, what's his middle name? He said, Zaire. And I looked up Zaire. It's the river that swallows all rivers. Yo, God is real. All we have to do is live unto him. Do you have any struggles that you're struggling with right now? Alcohol. Alcohol. This is what I want you to do because I'm out here giving a message. You're more than welcome to sit in your car and listen. Or whatever God leads you to do. But I need you to write to me all of your problems. I'm going to pit them. I'm going to take. I'm going to do an intercession prayer. Intercessory prayer. It's what we call when someone else goes before Stand God. Exactly. Stand in the gap. I'm going to pray for everything that you're struggling with. Okay. And I'm going to pray really hard. Okay. I just met you today. But I love you already. I love you too. <laughs> and that's the thing. Blows my mind, but it pisses me off sometimes. I'm not, I'm, I'm not lying to you. It pisses me off because I'm like, Lord, okay, you want me to live like this, but this person doing this, I'm over here struggling. I work every day. This person is selling drugs, and he, they got the big house. Separate from them. Separate from them. I struggle, but I didn't understand. I, that's why I go back and forth because I want that forbidden fruit. I'm being honest with you. Like, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to the Lord right now. I promise you. What God wants you to do is begin a fast. Fast. Begin a fast. From this moment forward. I'm not talking about just a regular fast, like no eating. Step away from everything. I know you got to go to work. Go to work. Do what you got to do. You got to supply for your family. But it's openly God the sustainer of all things. Fast from things that you have been pitting your mind to. Things that would be in the way between you and God. 
and focus on him. You have a Bible? Pull it out. Go to Romans chapter 1, verse 16. Read the entire book of Romans, but specifically <laughs> Romans chapter 1, verse 16. Read the whole book, and from there, read John 3.16. But when you get to John 3.16, study it. Study it. Meditate. Meditate on the word of God. For Jesus says, man, live not by bread alone, but by the mouth of the Lord. Yes. This is where you go get your strength from. This is where you go get your strength from. You're not going to get your strength from eating and, and stressing. and You're going to get your strength from the Lord. Even though there's an overcast right now in the clouds. Even though there's an overcast right now, God still sees you. He see me because you was here. It made me stop and it made me think. And you know what? I, I actually asked God today for me to meet someone like you, man. It come from a hurt in a dark place. I grew up in messed up circumstances. But God says it does not have to be anymore. You're going to be all right, man. You're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. You're going to be all right, okay? The Lord is with you. He heard you, okay? He heard you. From this moment forward, you walk in Christ. You already been baptized. If you feel a pressing in your spirit to get rebaptized, I can help you with that too. I don't just do this, I do baptisms too. So contact me on Facebook. My information is on there. If you don't, my name is Jokis Bosslarelli on Facebook. But just, if you got access to Facebook, just write me on anywhere you find the information on it. It's just say contact, just write me and say, hey, I just met you on the corner over here. Uh, um, I need to, to, to get your phone number or whatever. I'll do that. Okay? God bless you, Royal. You too, brother. May the Lord walk with you. He will. Bless you continuously in the name of Every man, therefore, that hath heard and hath learned of the Father cometh unto me. Not that any man hath seen the Father, save he which is of God. He hath seen the Father. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me hath everlasting life. I am that bread of life.